Good morning, everybody. Shalom. What is up? Gary here, GBL Iguanas. Fresh hoodie. <laughs> anyway, I'm here at uh, Repticon Atlanta. Well, Gwinnett. You can kind of see. It's a little chilly outside. Don't want to stand out there trying to make an intro, but we're heading on into Repticon. Hopefully, see some uh, some pretty cool stuff. And uh, we'll show you along. And, well, have fun. All right, so we just got back. I didn't do any filming just because... Honestly, there wasn't really anything terribly cool there. And I was just hanging out with uh, with some of the homies, but did pick up a new little baby. Picked up a hypo bull snake. Auburn doesn't know I got it. So this should be pretty fun to uh, see her reaction. And then we'll show how to uh, how to do a real simple, easy setup for bull snakes and how easy it is to care for them. Oh, hello, darling. I didn't do anything. I did nothing. She's a little sick. So where are we gonna put I don't know, we'll figure that part out. Is it No idea. Alrighty, so background noise coming from Samson. There is drink in that bottle. He likes drinking bottles. But anyway, so we've got a we've got a 20 gallon long tank here we had sitting around. Got a, some F10 so we can clean and disinfect it. And you see, we got just some basic stuff, some aspen bedding, which is really really good for bull snakes. Uh, got some fake plants. Got some hides. We'll go grab a water dish, and then we'll get this little booger. Uh, We'll get the little booger all set up in his nice new home. Alright, so uh, I'll just finish cleaning everything up with some F10. Uh, F10 is a great uh, cleaner for a problem that's usually with a lot of vets and stuff. It is an animal safe. Disinfectant. Um, a little bit wet in here. Some dog hairs in here. But anyway, so bull snakes, they are a colubrid, uh, which is one of the three major families of snakes. Of course, you got boas, you got pythons, and then you have colubrids, which are your third. But you have your milk snakes, king snakes, you got all sorts of other snakes. And I don't know what on earth she is doing behind that camera, but please send help as always. Um, but anyway, so just like those <laughs> grids, they're super easy to set up and maintain. They don't need high humidity, they don't need high heat, anything like that. Um, and they are, they do like burrowing, so Aspen makes a really, really, really good choice for their substrate. It holds their burrows really well, um, it's a nice sterile substrate, so it's super easy to keep clean. Um, it doesn't absorb moisture from the air, causing all sorts of humidity problems, so it just makes it pretty easy. Um, they also do really well at room temperature, so as long as your room temperature is in the 70s, you're good. If you get it below that, then, you know, a small heat pad or a small wattage heat source would be recommended so they don't get too cold so they can digest your food. Get them out of there. So normally just a, a small little layer that's just thick enough that they can, uh, Thick enough that they can burrow in, because otherwise you can potentially lose them here because when they're still small, um, they do like to burrow and hide. So that should be a pretty good little, pretty good little set for them. Maybe. Bit. So then from there, you always want to make sure, just like with any snake, they have a little uh, hide for the cool side, hide for, well, I guess what could be the warm side, or in this case, just a second hide spot. These are just cheap little pet store hides. So they're the first thing that I found lying around in here, and in all honesty, they do work just fine. 
Nice clean little water dish for him or her, whatever it's gonna end up being. Got a little sticky poo, just something. Um, bull snakes, they're not gonna climb, but just something for them to climb over. And just spraying it down with just a little bit of F10. As it sits on there, it's gonna help to just disinfect it just in case there are any, uh, any yucky things there that shouldn't be. And then we'll have like just some fake plants that we can just throw in here. Just spread throughout, just to add, add some color and just add different things that you can, uh, he or she can cl again climb over and around, places to hide, and just different things just to make the habitat just that much nicer for it. And I'll just throw that. It's easier to move around everything anyway. But that'll actually work just fine. So just to kind of show a real basic setup. Got a hide, plant, stick, water dish, another hide, another little plant. And really that's pretty perfect for a colubrid. All right, now we get to take this little dude out. If you know how to sex bull snakes pretty accurately, please in the comments uh, let me know. I know a lot of it has to do with the length of the tail, which it does look to be a pretty long, skinny tail, but I'm definitely not an expert in bull snakes. Um, so this one's a hypo, which means hypomelanistic, which generally means lacking darker pigments. So you can definitely see where he is. Uh, he's definitely a little bit lighter going all the way around. But this dude's awesome. Bull snakes have been turning into some of our favorite snakes. Got loads of personality. Ferocious, ferocious eaters. So they're normally just, they're just really fun. But this little guy, hopefully, he's gonna love his new home. What is all of this? I do not know what this one is. And he should settle in here pretty well. It's Saturday right now. A normal feeding day is on Tuesdays. Um, younger colubrids, a lot of times people say feed them every you know, four to five days. Um, which you can do depending on the size meal. Bull snakes can typically take a larger prey item than your average snake. Um, so I still typically will keep them on the seven day. Um, with giving them a decent sized food item. So I don't want to power feed or overdo it or anything like that. So yeah, this guy's doing... You should have fun settling in, getting used to everything in here. And then we've got our, our albino bull, which I'll go show y'all again here in a second. And if they end up being a male-female pair, that'd be pretty sweet to be able to make some, uh, some hypo albinos, because those are really, really pretty in bull snakes. And why am I focusing on plants? I don't know why I'm focusing on plants when you got a cute little bull snake right here. I also need name suggestions, so please feel free to uh, Drop us some in the comments if you have a, a potential good name for this little dude. Hey, another hide. Hey, there we go. Yeah, so we'll come back and check on him here shortly. Let's go take a look at little Miss Hufflepuff. All right, got little Miss Hufflepuff. Uh, keep calling Miss Hufflepuff. We really don't know boy or girl on this little thing. I can't really stick my arm down there super easy, so it's a simple little snake hoop just so I can actually get down there. She is feisty, I'm not worried about getting bit by her because obviously it's a tiny snake, not really gonna hurt, but focus makes it a lot easier to get down in there. Oh, buff. Oh, so angry. See that tail work like a little rattlesnake. I know, your life is so terrible. Yeah. Look how pretty she is. Those colors on her are just unreal. Typically they are gonna calm down with age just fine. We don't handle her a super large amount. We've been letting her settle in. Um, she's been eating regularly for us, which is really nice. She is just an angry little thing, acting like a spicy noodle. After a minute, she starts to calm down and start actually using her brain and, and moving around. Yeah, she is just gorgeous. We're excited for these guys to grow more. Just so we can see them with size, bull snakes are a lot of fun. And this one's probably gonna have, have some attitude for its whole life. 
because that's just the fun of bull snakes. <laughs> Such an angry butt. That little huffle is doing well. Oh, still shaking the tail. What a grouch machine. Oh, I know. Right, so I'll get uh, put her back here. So she doesn't get too stressed out. I'm going to wait until she stops acting like a lunatic. So that way she doesn't start thinking that acting like this is going to get her way. So when she calms back down, I'll put her back up and go from there. So yeah, and then we'll go back. We'll check on the new one. See how he's settling in. And then uh, yeah, go from there. All right, so we're back in here. Must have buried itself in and uh, found a nice little spot because, well, just don't see it right now. That's perfectly fine. After a little stressful day of being at a, a Repticon and drive home and all that, let them hide, feel safe and comfortable and unwind. Uh, by the time Tuesday comes around, she'll be ready to go to feed. Um, so as always, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe. Drop the name suggestions if you have any taming tips for uh, for these crazy bull snakes too outside of the normal, just holding them. Drop it and let me know. Crazy bones over there. And yeah, we'll see y'all next time.